Bonjour mes amis. Hello my friends. How are you? Comment ça va? Thank you for coming today and welcome back to Junior Elementary Art Class. Our lesson today is called Moving in the Same Direction. For today's lesson, you will need drawing paper, a 3H or H pencil, an HB or 2B pencil, and a 4B or 6B pencil, and an eraser. Our lesson today is about harmony. Using elements with similar aspects, such as lines, shape, color, and texture throughout the artwork creates harmony. Harmony keeps a piece clear and concentrated on its subject. This piece is called Poetry. It's a color lithograph by Alphonse Mucha, made in 1898. What elements have similar lines in this painting? I found similar curved lines in the dress. What elements have similar shapes in this painting? I see very similar shapes in the leaves around her head. What elements have similar colors in this painting? I've spotted similar shades of orange in the background. And what elements have similar textures in this painting? The hair and dress seem to have the same smooth texture. This piece is called Woman with Daisies. It's a lithograph by Alphonse Mucha, done on printed velour. What elements have similarities in this lithograph? I found that the leaves seem to have the same shapes, colors, and lines. Now let's talk about movement lines. Lines, when grouped together, can create the illusion of movement. Having a directional harmony, they can vary in length and thickness. The grouping will create a shape with one flowing direction that seems to be in motion. What element in this painting is created by a group of lines going in the same direction? The hair and dress have curved lines that seem to create the illusion of movement. What element in this painting is created by a group of lines going in the same direction? If you look at this group of flowers, they create the illusion of movement. Our project today is called Abstract Movement. Start with your 4B or 6B pencil and draw five wavy lines across the page from left to right. Make sure they do not touch each other. Now with your 2B or HB pencil, draw repeated curved lines connecting two other lines without breaking any of the following rules. You have to curve all lines to join existing lines. Do not cross over existing lines and each new line must follow the same or a similar curve as the previous line. So now I'm gonna show you a couple of examples of things you're not supposed to do. So starting on a line, going straight down, and then going onto another line. That's no good. You lose the movement. Going right across and not being careful 
that will also ruin the illusion. Really do this carefully and follow the rules. Start on a line, do a nice big curve, and end on the next line. Just like this. In second and third years, you can even try to do double curves like this. To do this, you have to make sure the curves are very similar, though. You don't want to ruin the illusion by making the curves different. Here, I'm even doing a triple curve. Now, this is very difficult. You don't need to try this. Once you're finished covering the whole page, now you can take your H or 3 8 pen pencil and you're going to do the same thing. Draw repeated curved lines connecting two other lines from step two, from the previous step, without breaking any of the same rules. So you're doing the same thing, but this time it's between the two new lines. They're hard to see here, but you'll see on yours, because it's a lighter line, it'll add to the illusion. Now, I'm not going to show you fi me finishing every single line here. This takes a bit of time, but I'll show you the finished product in just a moment. Now I'm changing the direction of the curves to make things more interesting. You can do that too. Let's keep the curves simple one curves for this because it's such a small space. Don't do double or triple curves in here. All right, once you have a finished piece, you're going to have a, a, a piece of art that almost seems to wiggle. Now, you need to hang on to this piece because it will be Thank part you, my friends, for of next junior week's elementary art project. Class. I'm sure you created some great artwork today, and I'm, I hope you had fun doing it. Merci beaucoup. Take care, and I will see you next week. Au revoir.